to today's podcast. We will be joined by Jordan Murdoch from SF Supply. He'll be going over some tools from Milwaukee. Um, if you've ever been down to the Panel Boy Controls panel shop, you will see Milwaukee tools everywhere. Um, you'll know by the red color that it's Milwaukee. And uh, he'll be joined by our mechanical specialist, Marcus Martinez. And these guys are just going to dive right in. I'm Danny Robinson. And thanks for tuning in to our fourth podcast. Take it away, fellas. So, Jordan, what's your uh, position over at SF Supply? Yeah, so I'm counter sales, also outside sales. Um, so I'll come to good customers like Panel Boy and show off tools and tell them about the new stuff we have coming out and give them gifts sometimes, but. Ooh, we love gifts, <laughs> but yeah. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, go ahead and show them what uh, got today. Jordan dropped off a cool little ultimate vibration reduction, 12 inch pry bar, but this is one of a kind. Okay, right. you see these right here? They say SF Supply. That's where Panel Boy Controls goes to get their tools because hands down, they have everything. They're located right here in downtown Grand Rapids off of Front Street. I don't know the correct address. That's right, 1060. 1060 Front Street. Only reason we go there is, is because they always have what we need in stock. Unlike some of them other big box name stores. And let's just be honest, only all the cool contractors shop there. <laughs> But yeah, so they're down there on Front Street. Great group of guys going there. See my man Jordan. They have all sorts of stuff there. You can play around with the tools. And in the summertime, they also have this thing called Weenie Wednesdays. You come on in, get to check out the new tools, and get a free hot dog. And they are amazing. That's right. As but many free hot dogs as you want. As me, you hear that? And they got cookies too. But go there and beat the rush hour because some contractors are hungry. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Jordan, you want to tell us about anything else you guys got going on at SF Supply? You yeah. guys got a new addition or something like that, right? You guys well, put on a new little thing? I'll just give a little background information. So we started in 1972, which was before yours and my time, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, just as a parts store. So a little electronics, diodes, resistors, uh, washers, things like that. And... As the technology grew and changed, so did our business because we had to keep up with the times. So as we moved in 2012 over to our new area over on 1060 Front Street, uh, we started a bigger showroom because we wanted to become more of a storefront than anything. Yes. Um, so with Milwaukee, we started... Around 2006, 2007, we started getting into the Milwaukee line, and it started with like four part numbers. Um, the rep came and wasn't necessarily begging or pleading, but he was just asking, hey, please take a chance on this. I think it's going to be big. And, and we did, and it's gotten us to where we are today, which is hundreds of part numbers in stock. So it's been a great partnership. Yes, definitely. No, you guys do have a lot in stock. Drill bits, drills, vacuums, right. even electrical stuff. I didn't even know you guys carried that stuff. Yep, mostly low voltage. So one side of our business is Milwaukee Tools, and the other side is low voltage. So wire, um, all kinds of stuff for Ethercom and Ethernet and stuff like that, data. Yes. So, but yeah, a um, little background on Milwaukee. They continue to get better, and people don't understand yet i don't think the actual impact that they're having yeah a lot of, of the older contractors or older generation they can't really wrap their head around cordless tools because i think for a long time cordless tools had a bad name that they always were dying that's right that's uh or they weren't they weren't just holding up compared to a corded drill or any other power tool at that matter but the one thing about milwaukee is is they set the foundation for a lot of other companies that I think just piggyback off them because they have an amazing tool. All their tools are great. I haven't had any issues with them, but no, they hold up. They withstand the stuff. A lot of other companies that make uh, 
cordless tools, all their batteries seem to die with the cold weather and stuff like that. I haven't had any problems with Milwaukee. But, yeah, they make a lot of good stuff, man. Yeah, and that's their claim to fame is the battery. And, and what they do is they call it Red Link Technology. So in 2008, they came out with their fuel. Mm-hmm. Uh, or not their fuel, excuse me, their M18. Mm-hmm. And they made the battery and the charger and the tool all talk to each other, which is called Red Link Technology. Um, and with that, the battery allows the tool to know when it's dying. Um, so there's a circuit board in there and the computers and technology. And uh, that helps the tool. It, it will keep it safer. Yeah, the lifeline. Yep, the at the same time, it will make it last longer because it's not overloading. Um, and with the charger as well, what you talked about with the cold weather, it, as long as the battery is um, charging regularly and all that, it will stay. It's perfect in cold storage. And like I said, that's kind of a claim to fame that you can keep it in cold storage. It'll work just as well as it, if it was warm outside. Yeah, because a lot of other tools that I've seen sometimes going from uh, cold to warm, they have to take a minute to like warm up. Yeah. And being a contractor trying to get the job done, no one really has time to be waiting. You know that's what right. I mean? Absolutely. But uh, no, I've actually had some of their batteries. I still have them right now. I bought them in 2012, and they're still going strong. That's awesome. Like no other. And I've dropped them like a lot. I'm surprised those haven't broke. My drill broke before my batteries went out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I see also, too, Milwaukee has a clothing line and masks right here. Yeah. Yep. As innovative as they are, they continue to come out with more and more clothing. Um, with the times, COVID times right now, they're coming out with lots of different masks and gators like you have on and, yes sir um, different things to ppe to keep people protected like that yeah your gloves all that stuff's really good absolutely but what i really like and i'm glad you brought this tape measure today yeah so i'm always using that beating it up dropping it on steel messing with a lot of different uh fluids that can be uh cause like corrosion and stuff to other tape measures but this stuff that you guys put on here i don't know what the code is it's mm -hmm. amazing not only that super durable Absolutely. you can't do this without your other tape measures no. not that you would do it but on the job site no. a real contractor can put their tape measure to work and you need something that's durable nobody has time to be taking measurements that aren't on because right. when measurements aren't on so a lot of things off in the work field. Yeah, so I would say that's their third or fourth generation tape measure. I'm always using my tape measure, dropping it and beating it up. Milwaukee came out with the extra wide blade, double sided. What? Killing the game. But uh, one thing I like is how durable it is, Jordan. And you, can, you can't do this with your regular tape measure. You know what I'm saying? Numbers are still there. Beating it up all day. Oh, I love this thing, dude. Even got that 12 foot extendo on there. Oh, the tape measures can't be doing that. Uh, they call it the wide blade. And awesome. along with the durability of it, it also has a 14 foot standout. 14 foot? Yeah. Correction, I said 12. Actually, it's 14 foot. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and even if it breaks, it's got a lifetime warranty, no questions asked. Nice. And so not, how does that warranty work over it? Does the, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. You just bring in the tape measure, show us how you broke it, and we'll swap it with a new one on site. Ooh, you don't have to deal with the manufacturer. Nope. Because usually some of the other brands, and I'm not going to say who they are, you have to, you can't usually take them back to the store. You have to take them go to the post office, get a package, mail it out, and they will send you a new one. Usually takes about four to six weeks. That's why I don't buy any other brands now because of that reason. And another thing that's awesome about this tape measure is this little clip right here. And real contractors know certain tape measures come with a certain clip that'll just wear your jeans out. So now not only do you have a cool tape measure, right, of a different brand, but 
not going to hold up and it also ruins your pants. So I wouldn't buy any other brand but Milwaukee because it's amazing, it's durable, it's tough. It's a great product. You're the best. What's, uh, what's been your hottest item that you guys have sold over at SF? Lately, I would say it's the full pack out system. So, uh, sales on right now, pack out, you get the three largest boxes um, for $199. Um, so, that's a pretty good deal because it would normally cost about 280 to do that. But the pack out system has grown and it's, it came out about two years ago um, with just a few storage boxes, and now it's grown into lights. And chargers and vacuums, they have a vacuum now, and all kinds of stuff. And over the next five years, they're just going to keep coming out with more and more innovative things for all your tool storage. Um, I know next year that they have pack out boxes with drawers in them um, to continue that organization. They have a rack system for vans, so you can buy a whole pack out rack system to put it in your van. Yeah, just Kind of a totally Milwaukee L van, which would be awesome. Yeah, that would be really cool. I can't believe that they just keep coming out with cooler and cooler stuff. Yeah. They're going to make it very hard for their competitors to keep up. That's, That's for sure. Uh, we just got, um, I'm not sure if it's going to come out before or after Christmas, but we just got a few of our uh, cups and then we got our cooler on the back out. The cooler is awesome, man. It folds ice for 30 hours. Yep. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. We also got some of those uh, Bluetooth radios. Oh, yeah. The Bluetooth radios are very nice. Yeah, and the radios are awesome, too. They've got one for the pack out, but the, the non pack out ones are just as nice. They have really good sound, last a long time on the battery. Yeah, and I see they have they come with like nifty little clips too, or is that sold separately? The carabiners where they can clip on the thing? Oh yeah, those are probably sold separately, but uh, you can add those for probably twenty dollars. Ooh, yeah, for sure though. I like that. So yeah. My first experience with Milwaukee was uh, at the beer festival. I saw a lot of guys in those heated jackets. Oh like, yeah, at the winter beer fest. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep warm here. Yeah. The beer wasn't enough, though. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. No, the heated system. I haven't bought one yet because I'm afraid that if I do buy the M12 stuff, I'm just going to start buying all sorts of M12 stuff. And as a tool fanatic, yeah, it can get pretty pricey sometimes. Absolutely. But the heated jack is an incredible investment. Um, it is. I've had one for probably three years now. And... As I don't use the heat actually a lot. I just love the jacket itself. Really? Yep. But uh, the heat obviously is just an added bonus. Yes. It lasts, depending on what mode you're on, it lasts up to about eight hours on a 2.0 battery. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. It'll keep you warm all day if you're hunting. Well, maybe if Santa comes along this year, maybe I can get one. We'll see how that works out. Yeah. I hope so. Heck yeah. My favorite. I haven't got to play with it yet, but Milwaukee never lets me down. I got this new pack out light, which is bananas. It's got the rover light system on it too, which swivel. Some of the other big box brands don't have that yet. Milwaukee's probably one of the first to come out with it as they always do. I believe it's got three different modes on it. Heck yeah. Oh wait. So you don't have to have them all on. Nope. So actually it's nine modes. Nine modes? Yep. Three different brightnesses. Goes up to 3,000 lumens. Um, and it will last up to 31 hours. Up to how long? 31 hours. Bananas. Um, the lowest, the least amount it will last is up four hours. Four hours. And that's the highest mode with all three lights. That's crazy. And this also has a built-in USB charger. Yes, sir. So for your batteries, you can run power off it. Oh, and it's even yep. got a cord cable. Charge your phone and charge your battery right now. Really? Three in one? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Well, that's great. And then another cool toy you brought in 
is the new M12. I don't even know what this thing's called, but it's an angle. Installation tool, they call it. And what I love about this thing is that it swivels, swivels for any angle. It's got the adapter shop for it too, so it's not just a fastener, it's also a drilling tool. What? Oh yeah, multiple settings too, and it's got built in the first on it. The battery on this thing lasts for a really long time too. I was surprised at that for all those hard to get corners where you got to drill a hole. And then it also comes with this offset bit, which is bananas, because I don't know about you, sometimes those tools can't get in certain spots. Milwaukee really did it with this one. I really love that. That's a great tool. It's a great tool. And then what else did you bring in? Alright, so we have the right angle after impact rated. Oh. So I'll throw that in any impact or any quarter inch drive, and you can put any bit in the end there. Creates that right angle that you need in tight spaces. Oh, no way. That is pretty awesome. And this goes in to all the quarter inch drive yep. tool? Anything quarter inch drive. But it is impact rated. So which means it's it built to last. Built to last. And we also got the tick, which uh, introduces their one key system. Oh yeah, the one key system, that's a great thing too, because you can do everything from your phone plus track where your tools are at. That's right. In case they end up getting ripped off or something. Yep. But yeah, these things are pretty cool. Great so, geo fence around the perimeter of your job site, so if the tool leaves your job site, you'll be alerted to it. Ooh. Yep. So how does that tick different from the other ticks? Is that like a newer one? Nope, it's the same tick. Okay. Um, it's just they update the software for it. Oh, okay. So you don't have to buy new ticks. They're not going to come up with anything updated like that. They're just going to continue to make the software better and better. Gotcha. No way. So you can put this where you're at, get the software or whatnot, and then you can track your tool, like if it leaves the job site? That's right. It's Bluetooth, so it's a little bit limited as opposed to GPS. Yep. But that's what keeps it free. Nice. And it's rugged protected, water resistant. Oh, man. Heck yeah. How long does the battery last in one of those? Um, that's a good question. I would say probably a year or so. It's like a, uh, what? Takes like a watch battery or something like that. That's right. That. Uh, they go for a while. Yep. A year or more. Yeah, man. I'm really digging this tape measure. Y'all gotta go out there and get you one of these. Don't go cheap. Peak never lasts you long. Lifetime warranty. Yes, lifetime warranty. But man, I really love this thing, dude. It's pretty jazzy. It's got a lot of little cool little stash compartments. It's not that heavy either. No. And the pack out system is just gonna keep getting better and better. Yes. They've, it has been. Over the next five years, they have all kinds of stuff rolling out. I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but if it keeps looking like it's gonna be awesome for sure every other year they seem like they just come out with more and more stuff i'm a milwaukee guy i don't buy nothing else don't even try to bring it in my area i'm not having it i stick with the brand that i love i can't believe that thing didn't scratch the numbers off you beat it up jordan i know it that's a nice tape i mean a lot of people get scared by the I think it's like $28 or something, but... Yeah, a lot of people don't like to open their wallets, man, but, I mean, you get what you pay for. Right. I see it all the time in the field. They're like, you can buy all the good stuff, and I'm like, if I'm going to use it, I don't want no headaches, you know right. what I mean? It's hard enough to not to do your job, but when you ain't got the right tool... Have they come up with a measure one yet? They do, yeah. I don't know if they have in that version, but... Oh, okay. Um, I know they, they do have a couple different metric ones. They probably, because I, yeah, they do. They sell all the tape measures in metric and standard, but you got to go on their website. Have you seen the wide blade in metric? No, but I'm pretty okay. sure they have it. I haven't I looked at it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But a lot of people probably don't carry it because everything we do here in the state is English. You know what I mean? Right. Standard. You guys run into metric a lot? Not a lot. 
Enough to... I do a lot of metric like building yeah. stuff. Enough to ask. Yeah, right. <laughs> like for fasteners and taps and stuff like that. But other yeah, than right. that, I mean, it. But then again, it all depends on the customer, what their spec is. Some want nothing but standard. Some want metric. Some want both. Hmm. And like the customer we're working on right now, with all those holes I was looking at, those are all standard or metric taps. Sweet. Just works for the whatever the components is they use. Their holes are already drilled out. Heck yeah, yeah man. Well, I appreciate you guys inviting me to do this. That was... No problem, That's man. Awesome. For Thank sure. You. We'll have part two once we get more. Yeah. Or we'll think... It's a little different with the COVID stuff. And... Yeah, it's crazy. So when we started this, we were just trying to think of a way where it's like, where can... You know, our customers see us in a different light and the vendors, the vendors is really what got Mario's mind going. Because there were a guy called and was like, well, we can't really go into places. Yeah. So it was like, how can we get these guys into places along with, you know, some of the guys that help us out, you know? Right. You guys help us out all the time. Yeah. With, you know, getting yeah. parts or, you know, parts or, you know, tools. I was like, how can we just benefit each other if I just, yeah, you know, what, what's a rap, uh, avenue we can go down and figure it well, social media, why don't we we'll just try this podcast thing? Because yeah. I think Mario we got a, bought a fish tank and he started listening to some fish tank podcast. <laughs> and at the very end, they're like, yeah, down in Grand Rapids. He's like, what the heck? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you can't... They have podcasts for everything. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, no one does a podcast for this stuff. Right. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, you know that you guys, I mean, you guys can't get indoors anywhere. Or it's like not even really an option with COVID and stuff. It's hard, dude. I'm, I've had so many visits canceled on me that I just, I'm like, well, now what? You know, I can talk to you on the phone. Yeah, and that's, because, that's, yeah, that's the hard thing, too, because it's a lot easier when you do things up front right you know you, you you really get a sense of who you're working with yeah you know the type of people they are so that way you can feel them out a little bit more right you know well, yeah some of this stuff i mean it takes it as a problem but i mean you want to see it with your hands on. absolutely yeah that's why it's so hard we couldn't have people in store yeah we had to stand at the front they walk in the foyer and then you'd be like, oh yeah, I guess I can go get a couple options for you or whatever. And then they'd be like, well, I don't know. You know, you know, yeah. like. It's hard to buy something to buy. when you're not touching it or feeling it or yeah. grabbing it, you know. Yeah, that's why, you know, people talk about Amazon, which is an incredible thing. But uh, I don't know if it'll ever go away that people want to come in and look and touch. And, right. I mean, I hope not. You know? No, definitely. No, I. I I do very minimum shopping on Amazon. I don't, yeah, I'm just yeah. one of the type of people I got to go in there, touch it, grab it, feel it right. for myself. I don't know why that is, but. Well, yeah, you know, this stuff's an investment too. Yeah, I was gonna say with tools too, I feel like it's a little different. Yeah. Like you you want to get your hands on that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like, even when you're like trying to close, right? You yeah. want, that's something that like, you don't want to order that. You, you want to go feel the material. And... Right. Absolutely. Yeah, but when it comes right. to buying tools and stuff, man, I mean, if it's going to make me money, it's a no-brainer. You know what I mean? Because these things pay for themselves. Right. You know, I would, People always say, man, you spent this much money on that. You got this. And I'm like, if I make, I always look at a tool and I see how much it is, right? Yep. And then I just think of, if this thing just lasted me one month, it paid for itself and did what I wanted it to do, right. which is hold up. You know what I mean? Yep take a beating, throw it to somebody, you know. And you can go back to those same guys five years and have your same tool and they'll have bought theirs three or four times. Exactly, exactly, yeah. But it's it's hard to, I mean, tools are expensive no matter what, but it's hard sometimes to open up that wallet. But when it, oh, when yeah. it comes to making you money, like I said, it's a no-brainer. And we, just being a small business, Want to support other small businesses. If we can go to the depot or end up supply, we're going to end up supply. I appreciate period. it. Yeah, definitely. I wait to go to SF Supply. Like if I go to Home Depot and I'm with some guys, they're getting something. They're like, you need anything? I'm like, no. 
I got a place that I go to. You know what I mean? You guys are awesome that way. Yeah, because and I always try to tell people about it because a lot of things that the bigger box stores don't do also is the uh drill and impact or the two drill like the trade in thing. Oh no, yeah, they can't. Nobody does that. They don't have to work or nothing. Right. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. They're not walking into Home Depot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. Brother, dude, yeah. That. That's, that's, right. That's, uh, I try to learn everybody's name. But, yeah. you know, it's... It's appreciated. No, like... Uh, no, I don't know. Over, it's real nice. Yeah. yeah I dig that place. Train. For sure. I always get people... I always try to get people to go there. They're like, oh, it's out of the way. And I'm like, oh, it's worth it. You know what I mean? How many right. times you gone to Hope Depot and they don't have what you want? No. Or they do have it, but they're all out. And on top right. of that, they don't market the way you guys do. They don't have the whole Milwaukee main guys come. I mean, they do, but you can't keep up with that demand when you guys, how do I say, you guys cater to like a... Yeah, to like the pros and like a specific group of people that know where SF is because I mean they give it what you guys give us what we want. Right. And also Home Depot has been at the front table with a little deal that might be happening that day. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the other thing too. I was in there today. I went in there just to get a pair of gloves. I walked out with a hole saw. I don't even need a hole saw, but I'll tell you what, I got it for a deal, so I bought it. Right. It will too. Dude, I tell you what, we just got that uh inverter, the battery inverter in, and we had like ten of them sold. So we had two to put on yeah, Mario bought uh, I would say yeah, Mario for Luca. Yep. Was that what you brought in today? I brought some, yeah. Cool. But those uh, for us? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Mario don't need those things, dude. But uh anyway, we had twelve come in. Huh? And we're sold, so I had two to put on the shelf, and I left it on my counter. First guy to walk in, he's like, you know, what's that thing? I told him, yeah, I better have that, too. <laughs> he's, so, he's right there. Just by yeah. Because like, you may not use it now, but when it comes up, especially another thing, the USB chargers, that's yeah. a game changer. Oh, yeah. For the longest time, I, you, you could find them at Home Depot, but they were always out. Right. So that's why I started calling you and having you order them for me, because they didn't, no place would have them. Yeah. And these inverters are a souped up version of it because you can plug up AC into it. Really? Sweet. Yeah. I mean, I haven't tried it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get one of those. <laughs> I'm still regretting last year when you got that deal where you bought the batteries and got the free vacuum. Oh, yeah. I'm still dude. regretting that. I should have took care of it that day. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, you were like, eh, I might not use it that much. I'll tell you what, dude. No, that that's the other thing, too. I think I'm going to get one for Christmas because they're nice to have. You don't need a cord. No, they're yeah, awesome. And they came out with a new one. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's bigger. Pack out. And it's pack out? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Yes. That's amazing. You know, I sold my pack out because, I mean, it worked for me, but I just wanted something different. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I'm going back and buying another one. <laughs> I'm not joking, because it, it works for around my property, man. Yeah. Because I got my pole barn and my garage, two separate places, but it's nice to just wheel the stuff or to take it somewhere. The only real reason why I got rid of it is because it fits in the back, in like the quad, I have a quad cab, right? It yep. fits in the back. Yep. But sometimes I got to pull up the seat to get it in there. Yeah. I guess I'm just complaining rather no, than dude. throwing it in the back and strapping it down. But <laughs> no, it. it's nice though. The one problem with that handle is that it can't fit under a tonneau cover or into a truck. Yeah, you got to lay it down or you got to have the no cover on. Yeah, but that's the beauty of they're coming out with those drawers. So you don't have to take every case off. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing that I hate it. Yeah. What was I going to say? How much are those right now? I don't know yet. They're, they're no, not... the the regular pack. Oh, pack out? You can get that three stack for one ninety nine. You guys got one in stock? I gotta look, man. I was gonna say, I went in there, it was bare. Dude, everything. Bought that for a giveaway last year. Oh, yeah. That was like, that was the pricing of the Black Friday. That was a good pricing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But so yeah, it's that price is good. It's a good price. Because uh, I think we bought jets from me not too long ago, maybe like six months ago. But yeah, that, that's a good price to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. And it's unbelievable how fast that stuff leaves the store. I mean, we got a shipment earlier this week and we're buried in it. We've got probably 40 of each case coming in just to supplement. But Really? Yeah. So. We'll have more for sure, but it's unbelievable. Is it more red and black? It's red and black. Red it looks a lot like that. Every okay. The only one that's red and white is the cooler. Oh, just, I yeah. think to separate it from, or to reflect the heat probably too. Either that or they have a very similar looking case gotcha. that isn't a cooler. Um, but yeah, they're both nice. How much is that light? That's 200 so for a charger pack out and a three thousand lumen light, that's pretty. Three ninety nine. Yeah, I was gonna say. Three ninety nine. And this one is more storable. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. When do I get paid Friday? <laughs> you get paid. I was gonna say, do you, you guys got these in stock, don't you? Mm -hmm. So yeah. cool. Those just came out. I just remember seeing an email about that. Yeah, like a month, maybe a month and a half ago. So what's this new MX fuel stuff here? Oh, dude, that's pretty sweet. We haven't got a lot of traction on it yet, but it was just announced. When was it announced? This summer. And it's like to replace small equipment. So gas. So, for example, a lot of guys use concrete saws, the big 14-inch concrete saws. You got to carry gas. Well, they made one on a battery. It's a different platform. It's not an 18-volt because you wouldn't be able to run it off 18 volt. But they got a big, huge battery for it. Slide it in the top, and it's it goes. I think you can do like six feet at four inches deep on one battery. So for small equipment, that's pretty good. And the other side of it is if you're doing something indoors and you can't have gas emissions, what do you do? Right. Find an electric, or you can go with this new battery one. And, and then you're running all kinds of stuff. And then you're probably running more power just to use the other tools. Exactly. Well, I mean, what you have to get into it and exhaust and all that. Yeah. To it's... get the, whatever it is, the, like you said, the gas in the air. So it eliminates the gas. And they have six tools on that right now. The saw, there's a jackhammer, a, uh, they call it a, a sewer drum, but it's like, a big time plumber drum so you could kill roots with it and stuff go down to, to the main pipe out on the street it's sweet um, that's crazy what else do they have oh they're coming out with a big light twenty seven thousand lumens on that light oh is that the big one that like stretches out like a fan it's on a bar or yep. something there's three of them or four ten, ten foot tall yeah yeah that's crazy how much is that light a couple thousand i think yeah but, a lot of those tools are they're up there in they're, price but they're worth it yeah it takes money to make money you know what i mean yeah like i had a customer say they spent a couple grand on a jackhammer mm -hmm. and uh, that's about what ours is um, i can't remember the other two tools oh a diamond core rig that's been the popular one what is that it's uh for drilling the masonry hard concrete oh um, stuff like that yeah I wouldn't a lot use of electricians that. use that so the MX fuel is like more heavy duty? Very. Uh, yep. And they just have the two batteries on that platform now, but they're going to keep coming out with more and more. And uh, I'm hoping riding lawnmower. I'm hoping. But you could definitely run the lawnmower off that battery. I wouldn't doubt it. You guys got chainsaws, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. You guys got in the new mini hatchet. Oh, dude, that thing's awesome. I know. I wanted to buy one today, but like I said, I don't have any M12 stuff, and it all starts with that getting one thing, and then it's game over. I know. Then you're in it. You're in it. Yeah, then you got to get all kinds of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that MX fuel is pretty cool. Like, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of traction because people, just like anything, like we were talking about, I'm not sure people trust it yet. But once we kind of get it out there and show what's going on with it, I think... It'll get some traction on it, you know. How much are those heated jackets? Uh, the jacket... Or the hoodie, the hoodie. Oh, the hoodie is 159 
Really? Yep, and you get a battery charger plus a, another free battery through an e-rebate. Really? Mm-hmm. I just saw Adam on Facebook like last week. They got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got... Especially the, the hoodies and the, and the tough gel jackets like I wore here. I want to see what's up with the... uh. Do you have any of the tough shells in a small? Because I was looking. You guys have all mediums and larges and bigger sizes. I wanted to get one for my girl. I think we got only a couple. Well, we have women's in small. In stock? Mm-hmm. Really? It's not that type of... I mean, it's a... It's I, yeah, of, I've seen that one. It's not really, like, durable. It's less durable than the tough shell, for sure. Yeah. But that's the women's jacket that they... I know. Specific. I wanted to get my girl one of them small hoodies, I think. I think the it, hoodies would be nice, too. Yeah. You guys don't have it in black, though, do you? Black hoodies, yeah. You do have them? Mm-hmm. In stock? Yep. Although, I don't know if we have small. I was going to say, I was, there. I was there today, and I seen one small gray one, and I was thinking about buying it. Oh, gray, yeah. Or a black one. Oh. She wanted a black one, but I only seen one small gray. Gotcha, okay. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Right. When you guys ordered us stuff, how long did you use it? It's only a couple of days. Well, depending on ten the days. Order, so. so, normally, we get things in about four or five days. Now it's been two plus weeks. It's crazy. But heated gear is a whole other animal because it's seasonal. We put one order in in April, and that's how they make it. Oh, so they see everybody's orders and they make it based on the orders. So. Surprised that they're not sitting around with a bunch of dead stuff. Exactly. Is it so? I I heard this was uh, so when you get your Milwaukee stuff right, but Milwaukee's like because of this COVID stuff, mm-hmm. maybe they've been short on stuff. Have they like bought stuff back from you guys or like gotten stuff back? No. Um. Sometimes they do stock rotations. Stock rotations. Okay. But even they've even stopped that now because I don't know if they don't want to touch it or something. Oh gosh. But they're so slow on getting product. It's, I mean, it's everywhere. Yeah. We're not at all bashing anybody. But no, it's it's okay. Oh yeah. Two two and a half weeks isn't so bad in retrospect. Some not, people. Not right. Yeah, some people are waiting six months for stuff. But in a way, it's kind of a. A good marketing technique because a lot of people are like, I don't know when I'm going to get it again. Right. Buy it. That's how usually it is when I'm at the place. I'm like, you know what? Like today I didn't want, or I didn't need the whole saw, but for the deal it was, man. Right. Might as well buy it. Yeah. When we were ordering, so for my AA program, we were ordering new uniforms, and they just were like, we can't do this color this year. Really? So we're in a color that. We're, we're normally black and royal, so this year we're navy and royal. Because that was literally all they had. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It's hard to get people. Yeah, with the COVID. It's... COVID's definitely a. Unlike something we've ever seen before, that's for sure. We'll never see it. Or, yeah, well, I've, honestly, in our timeline. But I don't think a lot of people have seen anything like this. Even the older generation. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be my first time taking a vaccine. Are you taking one? More open to the idea than I haven't been with this one. Understand. I've never done the flu vaccine. I'm with you on that. I, I did the flu vaccine. More open to it. I think like three or four times in my life, and I feel I got more sick that year than anything. Exactly. I mean, I don't know how it works. Man. I just go to see my doctor every private. About three or four months, and I'll just ask for a B12 shot. Okay. Because that boosts your immune system. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I didn't know you can just ask for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they either. give them to you. Hmm. Yeah, you just have to ask. And depending on your insurance, either you pay out of pocket or your insurance to take care of it. Absolutely. That's what I did back before I went to Detroit in July. I got one. Or not July. No, I got one in September. Well, that was a dangerous time to go to Detroit. There's oh a lot yeah. Of COVID over there. Yeah, no, I was out I, feel, I went there a bunch. I went there in July. <laughs> <laughs> I went there in July and August. Holy cow. Or July and September for sure for two weeks each time. Or ten days. That's crazy. Yeah. Or no, it was seven days or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We, I went there for fourth of July. Or I was here for fourth of July, but I was out there the week before and week after. Okay. 
doing an install. And then in September, I went out there. And they said that Arizona was a hot zone, too. I just got back from there. I was out there yeah. pretending. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, man, take the precaution. Yeah, you got to you just keep your fingers crossed. Stay healthy. Wash it. <laughs> keep your fingers crossed. Hey, keep your fingers This precaution's right here. Hey, hand sanitize me. We're good. Get, get on the plane. That's all you got to do, right? They don't have Rona over there. The heat kills. It hates the heat. You know what I mean? I took some of that dust as soon as I got there in the desert, and I was like, yeah, this stuff has been here for years. They ain't going to kill it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not only that, they're wide open still, man. All the restaurants yeah. are wide open. But that's a big political thing. It was crazy because, honestly, since every, when everything was open in Michigan, still never went out and ate at a restaurant. That's true. In the past 10 days, I was in Arizona. We ate out every day. Uh, not breakfast, but lunch and dinner we sat in. That's got to feel good. It did. Kind of it did, because more. then when I came back home, I realized, like, everything was shut down. Yeah. Like, it, it was weird. Like, we went to the casino one night, and everything's wide open. Tables. You just had to wear a mask. Still serving drinks. Okay. And then my fiance went out to the casino, and she said that none of the tables were open, and they weren't set up. In selling Michigan. alcohol yeah that's crazy but it's i guess limited. yeah they're supposed to start selling alcohol again at the casino i guess the 23rd of this month two days before christmas yeah, yeah. get them all buzzed up yeah. and take that money yeah. oh you're supposed to buy christmas gifts not no more not today that happens man See? it does i've seen it that's we know when so i went to the casino with this kid he's never gambled before he's like yeah, i'll go and check it out you know i got 20 bucks i'll blow 20 bucks. so we went there dude it was the fat he said he's never lost money that quick before <laughs> no because i was telling him i was like well you, you know he's like i want to pay the penny slots i was like all right well your best bet's usually the max bet you know yeah and he's thinking his odds are good dude it ate that 20 so quick he's oh. like how many times i was like oh actually you yeah, I'll give you two. I'll give you a dollar. You get seven hits because you know you're done. He's like, well, what do I do with the rest? I was like, you could hit the lower bet, but now that throws the whole computer all off. <laughs> and he's like, I'll never go there again. That's but, crazy. Yeah, we went to the casino. It was pretty. They they got a lot there in Phoenix. They got like three of them. Oh, you were in Phoenix. Yeah. I like. Yeah, we went to the casino up in Little River. Uh uh, up north. Yeah, Manistee. Manistee, yeah. That's fun. They had like five dollar tables. Yeah, that roulette. See, and at Gun Lake, they're stingy there. Their they minimum's are. like ten or fifteen. Last time I went there was fifteen for the tables. Yeah, you and the crate on weekdays and stuff, and some weekends. They got a three dollar minimum bet really? for the tables. Yeah. It's always very rare. You yeah. can tell they're hurting when they lower the yeah. prices like that. <laughs> yeah. You can tell they're hurting. Yeah, right now it might be 50 cents. Cause yeah. nobody's... <laughs> For sure. I like playing the uh, digital roulette, though. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because then you're only... Cool. You're betting $3 at a time. doesn't get ridiculous. But I did play blackjack for the very first time. How'd you like it? It was addicting. Yeah. It saved my ass. On <laughs> three. Yeah, I was in the hole. Like 120 bucks. And then I came back up to 65, and I was happy with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it always feels, even when you go in there and you, you know, like, oh, I'm going to spend this money, and whether I win or lose, it's whatever. But I get bitter about it. Oh, I know, dude. It's right. no you... matter how you go into it. <laughs> well, I just always think, all right, I could, like, go to a concert or something, or I go to the casino. I'd spend 200 bucks or whatever you do it. Yeah, it's the same exact thing, no matter what way you look at it. But I still get bitter. The mindset you put yourself in when you go in, you're like, all right, I'm going, I'm willing to lose this much. Yep, exactly. <laughs> but in your heart, you're like, I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. That's the thing. Every and then time, you walk out you're, flat. You're all mad. Yeah, I'm bitter. I'm like, way to go. Dude, I tell you what, I went to, uh, I think it was at Little River. Never played craps before. So I went in there. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I think I've got this much. I'm going to throw it on there. I played like two rolls. I lost it. All my money. It was like a hundred dollars. Yeah, because it, be, it happened so it. quick. Yeah. I hate this game. Yeah, you're like I hate this game, and then you're like all your friends are having a good time. Yeah. And you're out of money. You're like this is lame. But apparently, it's the best odds you have. I guess. 
I don't know. Supposedly. I don't know. I haven't played crap. I don't. I haven't played craps because I don't like the. Too intimidated. I don't know the rules. Yeah, I don't like the. Yeah, right. That's I don't like the speed way. of it. Yeah. I don't like the speed of it. It's too fast. It is fast. Too much going on. That's why I like roulette because it's. it's you pick your colors. You pick your numbers. Yep. Inside and outside. Yep. It's. There's what thirty seven options. That's it. Yeah, and we were there, and they were like. Don't play that game. It's the worst odds. I'm like, yeah, but I'm having the most fun with it. Yeah, and yeah, I can yeah. only I can spend five bucks. And make it last. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Where like you go to the slots, even if you're paying the pennies, you. I mean, you I like the slots. Slots are fun. Yeah. No, that one day you did really good. You just sat there. You're like, oh, you were, you were killing it. The worst is when you win. And your friends want to stick around. Yeah, right. <laughs> it no works. Yeah, no, that, you can't do that. That's, yeah, that's horrible. That is, you got to cash out. And then you're like waiting two hours and trying not to spend the money you want. Right. I know, dude. It's crazy. It's a. I've seen people spend lose tons of money and they whip out their debit card and go to the ATM and come back. And it happens. They're like, it hey, happens. You're just money. like, you know what? I ain't losing today. Yeah. Where's the ATM? Spending my whole paycheck plus some. It's yeah, crazy. it happens. Like it, that's dangerous. When I was down, when I started losing money in Arizona, this guy was like, tell you what, man. You should have just gave me the money. I would have went and bought a new shirt and a hat. And at least I would look good. And he's like, you know, and then you could have seen your money, like, make me happy. And he goes, Dad, <laughs> where's your money going right now? I was like, you're the worst person to go to the casino <laughs> with, dude. Talking about? <laughs> talking all this negative stuff. That's why I'm losing. But, funny. Yeah, I got my money back, and then finally he was like, "Yeah, you should probably just quit while you're ahead." I was like, "Let me just throw it all down." He's like, "Now you're walking out with zero. Just take what you got, <laughs> walk away." My worst experience at the casino was with my uncle Lance, because he kept being like, "Danny, we didn't come here to win hundreds. We came here to win millions." <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and he just kept <laughs> like beating that thought. You get that mindset I though. Lost so much fun, yeah. more money than I've ever had. Oh, he was man. like, because he just kept like, he like kept it up. So like, he just thought you were gonna win. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. The worst is when you That's go in there with somebody and you both lose money like right. a lot, and, you're all and you both bitter. just feel bitter. It's the longest quiet ride home. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you hungry? It. No, <laughs> I can't spend any yeah. money today. Nothing. Ah, uh, it's horrible. Yeah, I'm hungry. It's you're so buying. Fun. It's so fun. Yeah, it is. Well, Jordan, I just wanted to say thank you again for coming in, yeah, showing us all your cool tools. You bet. Make sure you guys go check them out. SS Supply, Downtown Grand Rapids, Front Street. Look for them. Go see my man Jordan. He'll hook you up and take care of you. Like I said, great group of guys, and they always have what you need to get the job done. So take care. Adios from Panel Boy Controls. Thanks, Marcus.